first graders. Okay, some of you have asked me about a handwriting book that I sent home with you at the beginning of the school year. It looks like this, okay? But I haven't said anything about it in any of our videos yet. Well, I'm gonna talk to you about it right now. So we are going to look at the first page. Now, if you've already um, chosen to start writing in this, that's okay, don't worry about it. Um, but I'm still gonna have you look each day at what we're doing with it. Um, and just kind of look and analyze and think about, did I do my best on this? And am I following the directions as well? Okay, now if you haven't done any of it yet, you'll just start here with us now. Okay, so in class, we just barely started this. And so we'll be doing just a little bit at a time um, to really practice our handwriting skills. Now that we've kind of reviewed the alphabet and we've gotten into um, focusing on more writing of sentences and things, hopefully you're noticing that your handwriting really matters. And I'm seeing some people are doing really nice first grade handwriting every day. And I see some people are doing first grade handwriting sometimes. And I see some people are still struggling with some of their letters and that's okay. And that's why we have this and why we're going to work on it. Okay, so let me get you smaller and I'll show you the one I want you to think about today. Okay, so this one is all about straight and curved lines. And this is just the very first page when you open the book. So I just take the cover, open it up. Here we are, this is what we're doing. Okay, and what I want you to think about is how writing is like reading and actually they're really connected the more you read the better you will be at writing because you'll recognize and understand more words okay but also like reading writing goes top to bottom and it goes from left to right okay so when i am writing any of my letters i'm always going to start at the top of the letter so on this page, we're not writing letters yet. We're just going to make some lines certain ways. Now these dots, I see if I'm looking here at this very first one, I can see the dots um, show that I start at the top line and I stop at the bottom line. The dots are helping you see where we start and stop and that we're not going past these lines. Okay, it's very important that we make our letters fit in the lines where they belong. So here on this first one, we're going to start at the top, right on the dot, and we're going to draw a straight line down to the ground. So we start at the top, straight line down to the ground. Now our goal here is not to go super fast. Our goal is to make the lines as straight as possible. And they've given us this guide. We start at the top, straight down. And you can do that all the way across, starting at the top, straight down and stopping right as we touch the line, right where those dots are, okay? When you finish that line, the second line is practicing a really straight line again, but this time it's a straight line that goes from left across to the right. Okay, so each of these, we're going to start on the dot on the left and draw right on top of those the dotted line across to the second dot on the right left to right the same direction we read also are you noticing that they're putting a finger space between each of these lines that's letting us practice that skill as well <clears throat> okay so on this line again the goal is not to go super fast it's just to go really straight and start and stop in the correct places. So you can finish that line. Okay, the next line has like a little hook shape. It starts just below the line, curves up to touch the line, and then comes straight down and stops at the bottom. Now this is tricky because this one's kind of a rule breaker, and we have a few letters that are rule breakers like this. You can see this one almost looks like a lowercase f. S's and C's and G's also all do this, where they start just below the line instead of starting at the very tippy top. But the rule stays the same that they can't go past the top. 
we have to reach up and touch the top. We don't want to leave an empty space, but when we come up and touch the top, we immediately turn over and come back down. And just like before, we need to make sure we stop when we touch the line. Okay, so go ahead and practice those hooks where we start at the dot, reach up and barely touch the line before coming back down. Okay, the fourth line practices each of those different types of lines one more time, where we're not just doing them one big group of straight up and down, but we're alternating between the three types of lines. So you can do that and practice changing what type of line you're doing. Remember, if it's straight up and down, we start at the top and stop at the bottom. If it's straight across, we start on the left and we move to the right. If it's a hook, we start just below the line, reach up to touch it, and then come down to the ground. Okay. Then down here in this picture of a train, they have some of those lines dotted out. We have straight up and down, side to side, and we even have some of the little hooks. Okay, you can practice tracing those lines down on the picture, and you can color the train just for fun. Okay, now this is not something you need to turn in. It's just something I want you to practice and um, evaluate yourself. If you see one on the first line that you think you did perfectly, circle it or put a star next to it, okay? And same with each of the lines. Which ones do you think you did the very best on? Okay, share that with yourself. Share that with a family member or a friend and keep practicing to make sure that you're just getting better as you are paying attention and being careful with your writing, okay? So each day, I will show you, um, well, it won't be every single day, but most days I will show you a page that you need to um, look at and practice those lines so that we can become fabulous first grade writers. Okay, good luck.